Welcome to this walkthrough of Jura. We're going to explore what makes Jura unique and delve into its new features designed with modern workflows in mind. At the heart of Jura, we have two main workflows. We have the original front panel design, and then in the top right here, we can expand the UI into an extended modern interface. This is where most of the modern workflow enhancements become clear. It's worth noting that Jura comes in several versions. There's MPC4 standalone versions for hardware integration, and these are unique as they offer touch control of the entire synth. There's also a standalone version for desktop, as well as AU, VST, and AX for digital audio workstations. So, diving under the hood, what do we have? The VCF includes these new saturation and drive controls. There's also two DCO noise types, modern and vintage. We can toggle these in the top right corner and select DCO noise, vintage and modern. The modern type is a little bit brighter and the vintage is a little bit smoother. We now have not one but two envelopes, allowing us to shape the sound of the Jura in ways not possible on the original. For example, I can use envelope 1 here on my DCO in the selector switch, and I can use envelope 2 on my VCA. The original LFO has been expanded on with three new controls. Resync resynchronizes the LFO every time a new note is detected. This keeps the signal nice and clean, especially when we have time-based effects involved. Ramp is a way of adding additional delay time to the start of the LFO. And we also have a variety of different shapes added to the LFO section. The famous chorus now has the option of a mix control. As well as this, the chorus also has a noise mode which can be activated by either clicking the chorus tab or by expanding the cog in the top right corner of the UI. Similar to the chorus noise, we can choose how much analog modeling we want to apply to the overall signal with the analog parameter here. Each of the effects in the effects menu are expandable by clicking on the desired effect. The delay, reverb and EQ have a lot of parameters under the hood, so this makes them an ideal alternative to outboard effects.
Finally, we have our bottom panel, and this is where a lot of the note effects lie within Jura. Once again focusing on modern enhancement, Pitch Bend allows us to control the amount of modulation applied to the voltage control filter using Pitch Bend messages. We can decide the range of the pitch bend by using the range window. This can be really useful on pads to slowly open up the filter while playing live. In voice mode we now have the option of full 8 voice polyphony. This means we can create even richer, larger than life sounding pads. When voice is set to chord mode, click edit to adjust up to three intervals to be played when a single note is held. Closing our walkthrough of Jura, we finish with the enhanced arpeggiator, now with 8 different modes, a 3 octave range, as well as speed and gate controls. We hope this walkthrough gave you a good insight into the possibilities of Jura's enhanced modern workflow.